Hello, everyone. I'm James. Welcome back to Easy English for Better You. Today, we will talk about a famous idea the idea of the morning person. You have probably heard this the early bird gets the worm. Many books say successful people wake up very early. But is this really true for everyone? And can this idea help you learn English faster? The answer is not a simple yes or no. It's more interesting than that. In this video, I will share the real secret to effective learning. It's a secret your brain already knows, but you might be ignoring it. Stay until the end. I will give you a simple three step plan. To find your personal best learning time, this plan will change how you study English forever. Part 1 The Myth of the Morning Person. Let's start with a simple truth. We are all different. Our bodies are different. Our brains are different. Neuroscience tells us about something called a chronotype. This is your body's natural clock. It decides when you feel sleepy and when you feel awake. Some people are larks. They naturally wake up early. They have the most energy in the morning. For them, studying at 6 a.m. is perfect. But many people are owls. They have more energy in the afternoon or evening. Waking up early is very difficult for them. It feels like a fight against their own body. If an owl forces themselves to study at 6 a.m., what happens? They are tired. Their brain is foggy. They cannot focus. Learning feels hard and frustrating. This is not a recipe for success, it's a recipe for quitting. So, the simple rule, wake up early, does not work for everyone. It is an old idea that ignores modern science. Your best time to learn is not 5 a.m. or 6 a.m., your best time is your brain's best time. Part 2 Finding Your Golden Hour Instead of a morning person, I want you to become a golden hour person. What is a golden hour? It is that special time in your day, the time when your mind is clear, the time when you can focus easily. This is your personal peak performance time. For a lark, this might be from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m., for an owl, It could be from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. For others, it might be during their lunch break. The goal is not to copy successful people, the goal is to understand yourself. This is a key principle from Eastern philosophy. To know others is wisdom, to know yourself is enlightenment. So, how do you find your golden hour? It is simple. You need to become a scientist of your own life. For one week, I want you to keep a small journal. Every two hours, write down one number from one to five. One means you feel very tired, five means you feel very energetic and focused. Do this for seven days. Soon, You will see a pattern. You will see when your energy is highest. That is your golden hour. That is the time your brain is ready to learn. This is your first step. It is the most important step because when you work with your brain, not against it, learning becomes easy. It even becomes fun. Okay, you found your golden hour. 
Let's say it's from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. This is where most people stop. They find the time, but they don't know what to do in that time. Finding your time is only half the bottle. The other half is using that time correctly. This next part is critical. I am going to share a three-step brain-friendly English method. This method is designed to use in your golden hour. It uses principles from cognitive psychology and habit formation. This is what separates people who stay beginners from people who become fluent speakers. Please listen very carefully. Part 3. The Three-Step Brain-Friendly English Method your golden hour is precious. You cannot waste it. Here is how to use it perfectly. Step 1. The gentle warm-up. 5 minutes. You don't start running a marathon without stretching. Your brain is the same. It needs a warm-up. Do not start with difficult grammar rules. Your brain will feel stressed. Cognitive load theory tells us that too much new information at once is bad. Instead, start with something easy and familiar. Review the five words you learned yesterday. Listen to a two-minute English song you love. Watch a one-minute clip from a movie you know. This tells your brain, okay, it's English time, but it's safe. It's fun. Step 2. The deep focus. 15 to 20 minutes. Now your brain is ready. It is time for deep focus. But here is the rule. Focus on one thing only. Just one. Not grammar and vocabulary and listening. Just one small, specific goal. For example, Today, I will learn three new phrases for ordering coffee. Today, I will practice the th sound for 10 minutes. Today, I will write five simple sentences about my day. This is a principle from the book Atomic Habits. Small, consistent actions lead to big results. Your brain loves clear, simple tasks. It helps you learn faster and remember longer. Step 3. The positive cool-down. 5 minutes. The end of your session is very important. Behavioral psychology shows that we repeat actions that feel good. We need to end our study time with a reward. Your reward should be in English, but it must be something you truly enjoy. Watch a funny short video in English. Listen to your favorite English podcast for five minutes. Read one page of a simple English storybook. This creates a positive feeling. Your brain connects English study with happiness and pleasure. So tomorrow... When it's your golden hour, your brain will say, yes, let's do that again. Part 4. A Story of Change Let me tell you about a person. We will call her Maria. Maria lives in a country where English is not the first language. She is 45 years old and works in an office. She read a book about morning people, so she tried to wake up at 5 a.m. to study English. Every morning was a battle. She was tired all day. She hated studying. She thought, maybe I am just not good at languages. Then she tried the golden hour method. She kept an energy journal. She was surprised. Her best time was not in the morning. It was on her bus ride home from work, from 6 p.m. 
to 6.30 p.m. So, she started using that time. On the bus, she did the three-step method. Step 1. She listened to one English song to warm up. Step 2. She used a phone app to learn three new vocabulary words. Just three. Step 3. She watched a short, funny English video on social media. She did this every day, just 20 to 25 minutes. After three months, something amazing happened. A tourist asked her for directions in English. For the first time, Maria understood. And she answered, simply but clearly. She was not scared. She felt confident. Maria did not become a morning person. She became herself. She found her own rhythm, and that made all the difference. This story can be your story. It does not matter if you are a student, a parent, or a retiree. This method works for everyone, everywhere because it is based on how the human brain works. The great philosopher Confucius said, It does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop. Consistency is more important than intensity. Your 20 minutes in the golden hour is better than two hours of tired, unfocused study. So, I invite you to try this. Stop trying to be a morning person. Start being a you person. Find your golden hour. Use the three-step brain-friendly method. Do it consistently. Your English ability will grow. Your confidence will grow. And you will start to enjoy the journey of learning. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to stay curious and keep learning. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more brain-based learning tips. If you become a channel member, you can also download a PDF summary of today's three-step method. It's a great tool to help you get started.